Wow, okay. I can't draw! How does the stick figure work again? I'm Mike Rubin. I'm here to talk about the future of retail. Consumers today have complete transparency. 20 years ago, we set the hours they could shop. We told them the prices they could buy at. And they didn't have information. Today, they have everything really on their mobile phones. They've got better prices, broader assortment, all the freaking tips on a 24-7 environment. The consumer is the big winner. I think the future of retail is gonna be um, uh, far less stores. You know, my daughter would be really embarrassed if she saw the drawing. I think you're gonna have far more e-commerce and far more mobile commerce. We'll do a little bit of uh, we'll fanatics here so that we know we're actually buying online. If you're selling the same merchandise at brick and mortar retail as Amazon or Alibaba sell, um, you're not gonna be very successful. You need to be differentiated. And uh, in general, I think you're gonna have um, fewer, bigger, and more successful retailers. Leading companies today in e-commerce are Amazon and Alibaba. And what they really are, these giant marketplaces selling everything in the world. How do you be different? You design, develop, and sell directly to the consumer um, merchandise versus it being merchandise that is available all over the place. So think about if you are the only person selling that Sixers jersey, that's a, that's a, that's a positive. If conversely you're selling a, let's say a TV, that you can buy Anywhere, I'd say you're, you're done, you're out of business. So it's that kind of differentiation that I think gives a retail a real point of difference. So the first thing is the um, hire an artist. 